I'm Dr. Mushi Rahman and today I'm going to show you how to put a transpedicular screw in cervical two vertebra. First we have to identify the anatomical landmarks like spinous process. Usually the spinous process of the C2 is thick and then lamina, the lamina facet junction, the facet or pars interarticularis and lateral border of the pars. First we have to make a vertical line, imaginary line at the lamina facet junction or lamina and pars interarticularis and another imaginary line at the outer border of the facet. A horizontal line can be made transecting these two into two halves and another vertical line to make it four quadrangles. The upper and innermost quadrangle is the pedicle entry point where the entry point can be chosen by the superior border of the lamina where it unites with the pars interarticularis. Just below that you can make a pilot hole and then you can fill it by probe whether there is any breach in continuity or not. And that is the entry point of the pedicle, transpedicular screw in cervical 2 vertebra. The trajectory should be upward angulation, 20 degree upward and medial angulation should be 25 degree angulation. So I am purchasing the screw through the entry point. You can see the entry point, it's upper and inner quadrangle. And from above, you can see the superior surface of the facet and also the anterior purchase of the screw through the anterior cortex. From behind, you can see the entry point from below you can see first foramen transversarium and also the pedicle and on the lateral aspect from the uh, lateral aspect you can see foramen transversarium and you can see the anterior patches of the screw as well and thank you for watching the video.